morning. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work out the focal length of any lens. I suppose one of your first questions might be, uh, what is the focal length and what is the focal point exactly? Well, when you have a lens and rays of light enter that lens, the focal length is the distance from the lens to the point, the focal point, uh, where all these rays of light come together. Now, my, uh, any ray, the rays of light that go through the middle can continue straight on. But these other two will bend in and pass through this point, my focal point. Let's put some arrows on. It's always good practice when you draw rays of light with a ruler as well. Preferably with a pencil if you have to do it in an exam. Uh, and so this is our F or our focal point. And the distance here from the lens to that point is our focal length. And I'll show you now how you actually measure that practically. So I have here three different lenses and Obviously, they're all converging lenses, that's the shape, but I think you can just about make out on a video that like, some of the lenses are a lot thicker than other ones. This one's much, much thinner. And I think this one is even thinner again. Okay, now that thickness of the lens will affect um, its focal length. Generally speaking, the thicker the lens is, the shorter the focal point, or the shorter the focal length is, the nearer the focal point will be to the lens. In your exam, you can be asked how you would work out the focal length of a lens. And the method is actually quite straightforward and very quick. I'll just show you that now. So the first thing that you need to work out the focal length is a light source. Now, a bright window will do. Um, or, he here, I've got a light bulb. And that light bulb is just hidden partially. I'll turn it off so we can see properly. It's hidden behind a screen. And the screen has, oop, over there, a little wire cross in it, just so that when we, uh, we can see when we produce a nice clear image. And my, uh, my cross, my bulb is uh, exactly the right height to fit behind it. I mean, rather nicely manufactured by our technicians. And so this is the rest of the setup. Uh, down a long way away from my light source, at least a, a meter or so, I've got a white screen and I've just got a little lens holder where I can put my lens in. Now when I turn on my light bulb, my rays of light are coming out of here. And because it's a long way away, the rays are pretty much parallel um, as they come through, the, through here. And all I need to do is move my screen backward and forward, or move, or move my lens, it doesn't actually matter particularly, move the lens uh, until I get a very sharp image formed on the screen. I'll show you that in close up now. So at the moment, this image isn't quite in focus, but if I move my lens backward and forward, up too far, you can see that you get a sharp image. Now, this one, this particular lens, isn't, isn't magnifying very much. In fact, it's uh, the opposite, I think. It's, uh, yeah, it's diminishing my image. It's making it smaller. But I don't know if in the middle you can make out a very bright dot, which is formed by my light source. But either side of it, we're actually getting an image of my windows. If I go over here, you probably be able to see my shadow. There we go. Moving around on image. There's my hand. There it is. You can see that as well. Okay. Now, different lenses have different focal lengths. So if I swap this one for another lens, Now, it's, uh, my focal length is very, very different. I think I'll have to move the screen back quite a long way for this one. Oh, that's still not working. Let's move them further apart. Now, it's a much fainter image, but you can hopefully see that I get the cross formed from my, uh, my object down at the far end. And so that distance between the lens and the screen is my focal length. So in this case, 
If I was to get my ruler out and measure that, that's about 60 or 70 centimetres. Right. Thank you very much for watching.